put a hook on the camera. Okay, here's what I'm gonna be running. I got the Go Fish cam tied directly to my main line. Then I've got the hook attached to the same snap as the 80 pound floor carbon leader. Going to a Z-Man Chatterbait with a, a Berkley Maxent Jerk Shad. Now the perch keep ripping my tail apart, so rather than just put a new one on right away, all this was was a fork tail. A lot of the times I'll do this, like I'll just slice right up the tail and make my own little fork tail. Why not, right? There you go. Good as new. Let's get to it. Let's get fishing. All right, first shot, first cast, let's go. Definitely don't want to put it too far back. We've kind of learned that lesson. This already might be too far. So let's try it out. Imagine I hit one already, right away. Bam! Chatterbait is working for sure. The bait is working. We're a little bit deep, but that's okay. We'll get shallower. I feel like I'm getting bites already. Probably perch whacking at it, eh? What do you guys see? Okay, we're getting into the teen depths now. So 17, 18 feet, that's, uh, that's pretty good stuff. It's a good spot to be here, late summer. 17, 18 feet, we're gonna start hooking out a little bit. Going right along this drop off where it drops from, you know, six feet on one side of me down to 25 on the other side of me. So you're just trying to ride the line, stay right in that sweet spot that, you know, 12 to 18 feet, I think, would be the, the prime depths you want to be fishing in. In my opinion, so 13, 14. Always pay attention to the depths you're fishing too. Like when you get a bite, look at your sonar. Be like, okay, 14 feet, 12 feet, whatever it was. Like take a mental note of what depth you got bit. Cause there might be something to it. You know, you might figure out on your next bite. It was also at 12 feet or 14 feet or whatever it may be. And yeah, you start developing a pattern that way. You always got to try and duplicate what works. So when you're fishing, even when you're, when you're casting, especially when you're casting, you gotta try and pay attention to what's happening, what you're doing. You know, if you got a bite when you were twitching the lure, or if you were pausing the lure, and you got a bite, pay attention to those details and try to duplicate what worked for you. But this is looking good. We're in the perfect depth, we got a perfect drift going, perfect pass happening. I can feel the bait working. I think everything's doing exactly what we want it to do. We just need a bite, that's it. We just need to connect with something. That's it, actually, I should say. Come on, give us a bite. Oh, a fish just jumped behind the boat. What the heck's he doing back there? Oh, did I feel something? Might have felt something. It'll be so sick to catch one on the camera. That's exactly what we want. A big one too, like that would make it even better. I'm going a bit fast, but the water's so warm that the fish are firing, they're moving. So I'm not too uncomfortable going so fast this time of year. I'm doing 2.6 miles an hour. Typically I like to stay around 2.3. So we'll see what happens. We might slow it down in a bit. But my confidence is soaring that we're gonna catch one going fast. The faster you go, the bigger the bites. Gonna make a sharp turn here. The ledge turn. So if I didn't turn, we'd end up in like six feet of water. So I'm just trying to keep us in that edge we're in eight feet now nine feet so we got a little shallow but that's okay could hook up a smallie in here never know we're gonna hook back in a second i definitely hit weeds there so i'm gonna give it like another minute and then i'm probably gonna check it But we're right on a good spot there, so I don't want to reel it in. Okay, let's check it. Let's make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Seemed awfully high on the surface. So I might have to put it out further. Everything looks perfect.
can feel the bait working. So I am gonna slow us down a bit because I don't have so much line out that if I'm going really fast, I think the bait's staying high in the column. So I wanna slow it down to let the bait get down a little deeper. Oh, we had a fish. I felt the head shakes. What was it? Oh, interesting. Very cool. What was it? Play it back. Another loss though. <laughs> Chalk it up to another loss. I can't do this again. I can't have the fish win again. Was that a fish right there? Just as I'm saying that, they're like laughing at me. Oh my God. I wonder if I should be changing lures now. Probably. Do I keep it going? Like, uh, I feel like I should already have caught something. But this chatterbait has been working really good. But spinnerbaits have also been working pretty good. What do you do? Let's keep going, I guess. We'll give it like 10 more minutes. Come on, baby. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. This is so stressful. You guys, you wouldn't like doing this. You wouldn't want to do this. I, I don't think you'd like this. Yeah. It's kind of breezy. The air is sweet and warm. It smells like the lake. Possible thunderstorms in the air, but that's okay. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like this. You don't wanna do this. I think I gotta change lures. Okay, spinnerbait. Spinnerbait, you think? I think that's the move. Okay, that's the play. Let's reel in. Let's go. Spinnerbait time. Yeah, something's wrong with this. It's too high in the water column. Every time I reel it in, it's right on the surface. Oh, something stole my tail completely. Wow, rude. Why don't you guys freaking tell me that my tail got ripped off, eh? Thanks a lot. Yep. I hope it's working. Feels like it. I feel some pretty good resistance from the spinner bait. I think everything's working. Come on, eat it. 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 Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, we got one, we got one, we got one, we got one. It feels like a good one. It feels like a good one. We got one. I wonder what it hit. Is it on the camera or is it on the spinner bait? I don't know, but we got one. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It feels like a pretty good one, too. Big head shakes, big head shakes. Oh my goodness. We got one. We got one. We got one. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, big head shakes. I'm so scared. So scared. Oh. What do we got? What do we got? Good head shakes, whatever it is. It's on the spinner bait. It's a nice pike. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one at all. Ah. I'm just gonna grab you, cause I'm crazy. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh, no. All right. I should grab you like, a, like I mean it. Come here. Oh no. Yes, we got them, we got them, we got them on the Go Fish Cam. I hope this thing is recording. There he is, nice fish. I can go home now, chomp the spinnerbait. Amazing, so pumped. Not the biggest pike you've ever seen, but it's a nice one, I'm happy with that. On the camera, I'm so pumped. <laughs> not getting off yeah <laughs> all right we're recording on the chesty 
I'm just gonna go ahead and toss her back. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> so pumped! You have no idea, we got it done finally! <laughs> yeah! I gotta check the camera just to see. Just to make sure. She's recording! Woo -wee. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Finally! Okay, let's do it again. See if we can get a bass now, maybe. It'd be so cool if we get one to hit that hook on the camera. But coming up in this zone here, it's a lot of bass. I've got a lot of my bass here and a lot of perch too. So I suspect to see a lot of perch. Could get another pike though as well. Anything's possible. But expect to see some perch and perch and largies, hopefully. Got one. Got one. What is it? What is it? What is it? Doesn't feel big. I think it's just like a small or a big perch. Big perch takes the spinner bait. Unreal. He's on the surface. Is it a perch? No. Baby largey, but that's number two on the camera. Whew. Yep, he'll grow up to be a big tank one day. See ya! Into the sky. What do you see? X marks the spot, eh? Unreal.